What's up, people? Welcome back to Naked Ego Podcast. This is What's Trending segment. Mm-hmm. How are you guys doing? I'm good. How are you guys feeling? I'm good. How are you feeling? Very good. <laughs> good, good, good. So what's trending? Will Smith slaps Chris Rock. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first, it's, a, it's an excuse to set you up. <laughs> but don't worry, whatever you say will not will not, not affect be used yes. oh, yeah. against, against me. Yeah. Yeah. Not be used against <laughs> you, don't worry. Well, um I wouldn't want to comment much. Mm-hmm. Um we could look at it both ways. Mm-hmm. Probably it was Will Smith just defending his wife yeah. or rather um transferred trauma. How much of defending your partner should you go? How much is defending your partner? How far can you go? How far can you go? Even being physical for with me, other people? For me, uh, um, I think the only time I'd get physical in regards to defending my partner mm-hmm. is if there's a physical altercation mm-hmm. between perpetrator to my partner. Mm-hmm. Oh, like or like or my, part, my partner has been physically assaulted. The, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, then, then I, I, I may throw some hands. I may, but um, I don't advocate for violence. Like, yeah. um, defending your partner should not result to violence. Like mm. your measure of, wow, you really defended me should not yeah, be on not be violence. Best, yes. So I think for me with this Will Smith thing, mm. uh, <laughs> so he did what he did. Yeah. Um, those first uh, the jokes that were being made, they were laughing it off. Yeah. Jada. Uh, now notably looked like she was upset. Mm. Mm-hmm. Will Smith walked up to the stage and he did what he did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, yes, there's definitely transferred trauma. Why mm-hmm. I say that also is um, I read somewhere that there's been issues between Will Smith and Chris Rock dating mm-hmm. back to 2018 mm-hmm. uh, where he had made jokes about Jada. Mm-hmm. And it was something that the public knew, and I think you know the thing that you've carried has not been addressed. 2016, mm-hmm. 2018 or 16? 16, okay, 16, 16, yes, yeah, 2016. Yeah. Yes, yes. So these are things that have been carried for a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think for me, if he had that uh, that level of access to Chris Rock at that close proximity, mm-hmm. he, he could have just covered the mic and talked to him and told him, "Bro, like, kill this. Mm-hmm. I, I think just just kill this, kill, mm-hmm. kill, kill, kill this." Or if he really felt he had to do anything. He could have just stayed shouting from the audience. Yeah. If he really felt he had to express it at that moment, mm-hmm. it should have started and stopped at the audience where he was like, yeah, keep my wife's name out of your motherfucking mouth. Yeah. Like you'd have killed there rather than now walk to the stage and then mm-hmm. do the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think yeah. he needed to prove a yeah. standpoint. But that shows something then about the home maybe mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. There could be a thing where maybe he's it's been said or disclaimed that he's not defended Defending. Jada mm. the way yeah. she would have wanted. And mm. he saw that, okay, the best way to do it is let me get the opportunity. And he got yeah. the perfect opportunity. Now let me prove it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me prove it now. And he got the perfect it opportunity. It could be to Jada, and... it could yeah. be to, her, to himself, mm. Mm. it could be to those people. To their yeah. people. Uh, my two cents. Uh, when, I s- when I saw it first, I thought it was a joke. Mm. Uh, and I actually brushed it off. But later on, it kept popping. I just kept seeing it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Comedians were making jokes and all that. Yeah. But when I took time to go and look at it, uh, and I discovered, I actually discovered that it's true, it happened. Mm. It reminded me of when I was in a toxic relationship. Mm. Aha, yes. Yeah. Mm. My ex, my ex cop kept complaining that I was, um, I had anger issues. Mm. Mm. Did I have anger issues at that time? Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. I remember I had a lot of outbursts, uh, outbursts, mm. uh, a lot of moments when I was physical with people. Mm. Uh, A lot of moments when I wanted to bully people to make a point. Mm. I remember there's a time we were driving from, I can't remember where, we were using this Mombasa road. And then we got uh, to this mall. It's called, uh, there's this mall on Mombasa road. Next gen. Next gen. Mm. There's a guy who cut cut me off Mm. very dangerously. Mm. Uh, I managed to, it wasn't that dangerous, but... Mm. It was a wrong move. It was a dangerous move. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. What did I do? Mm. Uh, drove, went ahead of uh, the guy mm. and uh, emergency, I emergency braked. Mm. Mm. The guy also braked, stopped, came off the car, went, picked the car, the guy out of the car mm. and started shov- shoving him off. Mm. Bumping him on the hood of the car. The guy was small, he couldn't defend himself. Mm. But I felt like that was me making a point of like you should not do what you dri- do. Yes, yeah. drive, drive dangerously like yeah. in front of me. Mm. Okay, but come to think of it, how how would he have known? Okay, this guy. You see, but there are certain things that I did at that time that mm. was as a result of what was going on in your life in my life at that time yeah. so me i was just displacing mm. i can't really yeah, I, I so can't really yeah so when i look at uh will smith i feel like will smith there's so much that either he's going through yeah or there's a lot happening in his private life yeah that these this thing these uh, uh chris rock uh pulling a joke on jada mm. was like the tipping point yes it was mm. like the trigger yeah. but it's not it's not entirely the one thing that cost no. mm-hmm. will no. to walk up there and do what, and, he did. Uh, do what he did. I feel like there is so much happening. Mm. Do we will we ever know? I really don't know. I don't mm. know. Yeah. Mm. So uh, that's it. Um what else is trending? What's trending? Will Smith winning the Oscars? Mm. I'm for that, bro. Yeah. Cuz I watched the movie yes. and it was a fucking fantastic movie, man. Mm-hmm. Uh King Richard was It was an amazing movie. I got to I got to know Serena and Venus Williams mm. on a very personal level even if I I have never met them. Yeah. Mm. But I got to know a lot about their family life. Mm. I was not entitled to that, but yes. I mean night was it was put up you know in front of our production. Mm. And he he did a damn good job man he did mm-hmm. a damn good job at um, acting as the the Kinasirina's uh, dad, dad yeah. you know what he, the levels he went to and also just what he brought out mm-hmm. like for you for you it, it, those he showed me i got touched by it because of the intentionality he showed in that movie mm-hmm. with how he parented and how he fought for his daughters mm-hmm. to be on the tennis court Mm-hmm. amidst of course um certain flaws in his own character that his wife now checked him on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she checked mm-hmm. him on very boldly and even when he was being checked he was very respectful about how how he took that criticism mm-hmm. you know yeah mm-hmm. so he did a damn good job mm-hmm. i mean and will smith has always been a great actor in my opinion anyway mm-hmm. 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 mine would be the emotions mm-hmm. as he picked his award mm-hmm. um ah. it could be it could go both ways mm-hmm. um the excitement mm-hmm. um of finally winning and mm-hmm. also still the trauma mm-hmm. um because mm-hmm. now uh, it's intense emotions mm-hmm. as you as you're in front of people you're just thinking of what happened mm-hmm. i'm thinking it could be both ways mm-hmm. and um as a man as he depicted the emotions it says a lot also to african men yeah i yeah. think mm-hmm. it's a beautiful thing to see a man cry in cry. front of um to cry first of all mm-hmm. and then to cry in front of an audience like that i mean the oscars is where these celebrities go polished Mm. Yeah. you're dressed to your best people mm. will talk about how you're dressed mm-hmm. you know you know the the outfit you wore who's the designer stuff yes. like that but now there's okay you received the award mm-hmm. other than the usual i would like to thank 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 it's man as i'm thanking these people i'm remembering mm. everything that i've gone through mm. as a man mm. what i also had to what i the story he took in mm. uh from serena's dad yeah. mm. uh, serena and Ville, when venus's dad Mm-hmm. um and then now acting that out his own personal life mm-hmm. how he grew up with his dad mm-hmm. you know his mom mm-hmm. as well so the emotion part of it yeah actually I not thought about that that's a, that was a big thing to see um mm-hmm. it was not a thing that for me showed any weakness mm-hmm. it was a beautiful mm-hmm. beautiful thing to see and i think uh it it also normalized it for a lot of men that uh, even even the greats who achieve who get those big trophies mm-hmm. those worldwide recognized trophies mm-hmm. they embrace them should mm-hmm. and can and should cry mm-hmm. 
if mm-hmm. they feel like mm-hmm. yeah don't mm-hmm. wait to go to the back stage mm-hmm. to do it do it on stage mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and the fact that he apologized uh, not to Chris Rock though yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah do you think he owes Chris Rock an apology a big one all right mm-hmm. okay yeah big okay. <laughs> okay no no i i, I ask because i agree i just yes. and, it's and, good and to ask these questions and, yeah. and bring and, some and contention also, a bit i think also for me the uh, i think the whole uh the whole society is really ignoring Chris Rock like they are i think there's also a sense of trauma now involved mm. like uh, he also has to deal with that and for me uh one kudos to him for keeping himself calm yeah yeah, yeah. He took it like a yes. champ man yeah. it, 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 he, his uh, restraint was yes was impeccable yes. Mm-hmm. yeah but i think again as usual the 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 i mean i think there were two victims here Yeah. was Jada because of what Chris Rock mm-hmm. was saying yeah. um in the name of comedy mm. and i guess that also is a whole other conversation of wh- wh- where where is the f- where <sighs> does a fine line yeah. exist like where mm. should where's the line that should not be crossed then mm. on the other side Chris Rock for well, being who physically who draw that line though mm-hmm. I don't actually know because I don't, I don't these days there's activists for everything but like there's I, probably <laughs> activists about this microphone versus that microphone <laughs> Yeah you but I, I I feel like uh I think when we when we go to those spaces where we are going to be treated with comedy we should be open to those like com- mm. comedians are people who use real life situations and make them funny mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so they so everyone's fair game it's i feel like it's cuz that's what Dave no, Chappelle I, I showed us I don't think so cuz I just had a client today who was roasted it's a form of comedy and she's in therapy because she has issues with this team no i I'm, i'm not talking about that mm-hmm. that's in in her or his personal space with mm-hmm. friends and all that no yeah. that's a different thing i'm talking mm-hmm. about uh you've gone into a show where a comedian has worked on stage yeah. and is mm-hmm. going to put up an act to yeah. make you guys laugh mm-hmm. you get it mm-hmm. that's different mm-hmm. uh if i'm sitting at the front stage there is a high probability i'll be picked on compared to the guy sitting at the back so what i'd say yeah. to that is fine we could disclaim that everyone's fair game yes. mm-hmm. but maybe this is the empathetic side of me speaking yes. i think i must just confess but mm-hmm. um yes comedians put up an act they perform mm. but i think also you know when they're performing and they're doing these acts sometimes when i don't know what on what day my joke would have caught you on yeah mm-hmm. it would have caught you on the day your self esteem is at the at the so you see for your friend mm-hmm. uh, your client rather mm-hmm. uh, it's a friend circle so it's yes. even more personal mm-hmm. yeah. but i feel like the same it should still have the same if i should still react the same way mm-hmm. if it was a comedian who randomly just picked at her on the, in the audience mm-hmm. so i think maybe i think we're now living in a world where we are being asked to be more um consider it mm-hmm. yeah. of 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 others I, 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 you I know you like mean. let me I'll come and like okay I'm going to perform an act mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and I I may touch on persons with disability mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh, where where are you with mm-hmm. with with your journey for example mm-hmm. before I go on stage and I just say some things and maybe you, you had just made that one big stride last week in therapy and mm-hmm. then I make that one joke then there's Two, three thousand. People. I mean, you can imagine the Oscars. Those mm-hmm. are how many people who are attending this thing. So many people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, to talk of Will Smith and Chris Rock's friendship, they're actually friends. Yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, they're okay. homies. Mm-hmm. That's what made it so personal in 2016 when he did what he did. And then also remember, it is uh he touched on Jada's condition where she was balding, mm-hmm. and it affected her image, mm-hmm. her self image. Mm-hmm. So when someone goes there GIJ and I don't know what 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 uh, mm-hmm. if you've oh, okay. caught her on the wrong day Okay now now if if Chris knew exactly what uh, Jada was suffering from and he really understood the whole situation and then he goes ahead and maybe uh puts up an act and then uses that as a joke maybe yeah. I can say maybe okay now you're really pushing it mm. And now on the other hand you can't really 
you know as you can you don't really know in what space people are something that might be you funny to know. you mm-hmm. might not, not be, funny be funny to you yeah yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. somebody can drop a joke about disability and now they are laughing yeah, and yeah, the other yeah, community yeah, of yeah, people yeah, living yeah. with disability are I just like yo what yeah, the hell like, what's wrong yeah. with this guy yeah. mm-hmm. yes you can't really know when you will find this person uh, <laughs> at the right time ah uh, <sighs> next Uh, next and last next next and last why yeah. last next and last um there is the revealed that murder suspect who topped KC, KCPE has a degree have you seen it mm-hmm. yes murder mm-hmm. what suspect. murder suspect i think there's a lady who was arrested was taken to jail mm-hmm. uh and then she went ahead and did uh, KCPE and she topped and she topped She's among the top or she top? She top. Bro. Yes. Now research says she has a degree. She was actually at UN. Yes, she was actually sitting for her masters. I really don't know but I've read this somewhere. Yes. So where did the KCP thing come from? No, she was she was in jail. Okay. Wait, are we talking about the current KCP results? Oh yes. this from a while back. Yes, yes. Current. currently. The, so she she for the fun of it did she has a degree but she decided to, decided to do KCP. I don't know if she decided to start over again. You really don't know, man. Yo, mm. and she topped. And she topped. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> could be I, I, I mean, murderers are, are clever, I guess. Yeah. Murderers uh, are clever, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> for, for for me the whole thing the whole thing just exposed how messed up our systems are it really is mm. yeah yeah how uh, messed up our systems yeah, are like yeah. this is somebody who already sat for a KC, kcpe exam in the past yeah mm-hmm. why did how is it in 2022 yes, you couldn't find out the same person is still coming back and you can't you didn't find out from the, yeah yes it's just because they should have uh, stopped yeah, they should them. Have flat, oh there's flat. a guy who sat the exam for his dad yeah. yes yes that i found funny as fuck yes oh, wow. <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, would you sit you, would you sit would you sit an exam for your parent? I don't uh, think so. Why not? For uh, I'm gone. <laughs> why? Why, why not? not? Um well it doesn't sit right with me. No, you don't so do ethically. Thi- mm-hmm, ethically. So you use on ethics. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you don't do things on ethic basis all the time. On so no, <laughs> for this particular case she's saying she do it on ethics. Okay. Mm. Okay. You Would you did bro y- yes and no <laughs> <laughs> why no y- yes and no. no i i um i really don't know at that time when i'm requested to sit for that exam in what mental space i'll be in mm. and i really don't know how they'll convince me maybe i'm struggling financially and they're offering me a back bro i ain't gonna go hungry <laughs> man <laughs> So I really don't know I, I, in what space I've been so I mean, yeah, it's not a, it's not a, I can't I can't give it a, a, a straight yes or straight yeah, no yes. I may I may not I don't know mm. uh, but uh, if I do he just better make it he better make it worth my right. while mm-hmm. I better make it worth my while ah. yeah, uh, last better. thing um do men stroke women need permission from their exes to hook up with their exes friends Oosh. Hey. Where? Where 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 where? So I got They're to my access. Yeah, Can like right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So now we've dated we've broken up uh-huh. and then um I I I I need to be asked permission for you to date Bill. Yeah. So think of your ex. <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 you, do you need to give them permission mm-hmm. for them to date or do you want them to ask you for permission for permission for them to date somebody from your circle, in your circle. for example yes oh. why <laughs> because i've broken up man why <laughs> why why do I you mean, feel um, from my ex i need i need them to ask for for my permission why why permission <laughs> why why permission I, at least they should not and and the why, why the, the why is so that we are trying to we're not trying to like contest or attack you it's just uh-huh. i just want to know like i'm curious yes, is just out curious. of curiosity mm-hmm. that's it i just need mm-hmm. to disclaim this so that attack mm-hmm. it's just curiosity yeah yeah i need to to know at least why they they're choosing to disrespect me no. 
it's how? kinda disrespectful because these were my friends, they were in my circle. Love is love, love is blind. Love is a good thing. Why love is, is blind dis- and love is a good thing. Yeah, why is it disrespectful? On the list, not to find me. Finds a good like thing. <laughs> <laughs> he or she who finds a good thing. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I, my ex to ask me permission or me to ask my ex for permission. Ah, mm. uh, maybe not permission. Uh-huh. Mm. Just tell me. Mm. Why? Uh, it just it's just for. I mean, you know, because. Me and this person have a friendship. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to now have an intimate relationship with someone I used to have an intimate relationship with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's definitely feelings and thoughts that come mm-hmm. with maybe seeing this person around more often, but in a different capacity, mm-hmm. so to speak. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying ask me for permission mm-hmm. um, to date my ex. I'm yeah. just saying, just give me a heads up. Mm. Okay. Give me a heads up mm-hmm. so that I I can also mentally prepare mm-hmm. for you know our future interactions mm-hmm. as friends mm-hmm. and me watching you as lovers and oh, okay. not make it awkward uh-huh. or at least have the choice to say I don't you guys can date it's fine mm-hmm. but this can't work out as friends anymore mm-hmm. and uh, I walk out of the friendship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for me. Ah, uh, you guys do whatever the fuck you wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> it's your life. Yeah, it's Done. your life, man. It's your life, oh. if, if you feel like you wanna hide it behind me, it's okay. You do that. Um, I think if, for example, I have a relationship with you mm. as Edgar, mm. and probably you're dating my ex, mm. uh, I wouldn't want that to ruin the relationship that we have. Mm. You get it? And you know what? That's a very mature thing to say. Yes. Uh, there are not uh, very uh, many people who would mm, think, that. Yes. Who think like that. Yes. Man or woman. Yes. Mm. Very you, few. You, you, yes. Most guys would be pressed. And then now you yeah. get a bandwagon of haters. Yeah, we are going to hit Bill. Yes. Going to hit yes. Bill. Yes. Going to hit Bill. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, produce, do we, can we add one more? Nah, no. bro. We'll cut it up. Okay, cool. Uh, the shit up. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's trending on Naked Ego Podcast. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Bye.